Good afternoon, folks. Eric here with another video update. Actually, won't be too extensive. The wind's actually blowing pretty good, so don't want to annoy anyone with uh, with loud wind. But I wanted to give an update on the St. Augustine. Actually, look at that edge I tried to give today. Yeah, I'll do better next time. But it was finally starting to grow into the street here. Um, but uh, for new guys, this is the St. Augustine Palmetto. Uh, love this stuff. It's growing like crazy. I'll give you this vantage point here. As you can see, it's it's trying to take over the mailbox area. Have some weeds in that that part, but I'm not putting any weed control there. But uh, yeah, the St. Augustine looks wonderful. Could not be happier. Um, these are two full sun areas that I'm showing you. Obviously, down there is not a full sun area where the trees are at. Let me give you a little bit of a shot of the difference between the two. So you can see along here, full, there's really no sun that gets in this area too much, so it's not spreading too much there. But where I got full sun, um, I got better growth. Uh, but with that, I also had to water a whole bunch more when they were younger because uh, they were getting fried in the sun. I planted these like around April 20th or so. I'm gonna put some pictures up, some before and after pictures uh, so you can see what the areas look like beforehand and how much these things have actually grown. But you can see here a little sporadic growth it's not as dense but still good growth nonetheless i mean this stuff is going to take off next year um but uh yeah just got done doing a mow it is fall here so the leaves are starting to come down i am in the transition zone i'm i'm a little bit north of charlotte north carolina um this is fescue country for most some bermuda a lot of fescue though um but right now everyone's resodding or reseeding, dumping a whole bunch of water on their grass. Um, and this is my first year with the St. Aug, and it is October the 17th, something like that. Um, and the grass still looks great. I mean, I could not be happier with the choice. Uh, we still do have winter coming, which is fine. Um, putting down some uh, high potassium fertilizer. I also two weeks ago put down um, the Yard Mastery Dithyoper or, or whatever he, Alan Hain uh, sells on his site. The Dithyoper it's a granular. It's got some potash in it, but it's um, mostly Dithyoper, which is dimension. And did that two weeks ago. I'm seeing a lot of weeds on my walks, and I do not have many at all. Um, I pulled a couple winter weeds out so far, but not many. Um, let me show you the Bermuda real quick before I sign off. So here's some Bermuda. As you can see, and you can see we got some lively St. Augustine in between. This place is being taken over. Um, the Bermuda is going dormant. It's effectively dormant right now. Um, and the St. Aug is definitely still growing. This is all good St. Aug here, boys. Um, I'm going to be able to get rid of this Bermuda. I know there's some say, that, oh, you can't get rid of it, but I can use atrazine here in North Carolina, and atrazine does hurt Bermuda. Um, so I'm going to put that down as my first pre-emergent in the spring, early spring, um, to try and tag the Bermuda before it starts to get going. And, uh, you know, this stuff, this St. Augustine, as you can see, is still just growing out. I mean, it wants to take over everything. So, just kind of give you a large shot of my yard here. I'm actually soaking over there. I'm going to do a video on that area that I'm pointing to now, because that area did not perform as well. As you can see, a very shady area, maples, birch, a lot going on there. Um, I'll tell you what I did right and i'm going to tell you what i did wrong what i would do next time i will tell you that i'm going to use a liquid 
uh, potash fertilizer in the next few days because this sloping area right here where the shade is is really sporadic. Um, I'll do a video on that. I won't bore you with that now. Um, but this whole part of my yard here is just basically wooded. Um, I'm going to document what we're going to do here. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I will document it. Um, also, this area I do like with the trees. We're going to thin those out. I'll document some of that stuff for people who have never cut down a tree before. Um, but uh, I'm also going to do a couple videos. One, well, I'm going to break it up into segments, kind of things I things that I liked about my large plug grow and things that I didn't like. Um, think, well, things that I couldn't could have done differently, I guess I should say. Um, so wait for those. I'll do those probably in the next couple months before the year. That way, folks that are really thinking about planting St. Augustine in the transition zone um, can do it and, and not make the mistakes uh, that I did, but also pick up on some of the pluses um, that I figured out on my own by watching other people's videos and then trying some things on different parts of my lawn. Um, so there's a lot of positives, as you can see. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, I got buddies in the neighborhood that are like, what the heck, man? That looks awesome. So uh, very happy with what's going on here. And uh, I'll be back with another video probably in the next two weeks. Um, I still owe you a Celsius video. Uh, and I still owe you one other review video that I can't remember right now. But anyway, hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. Be safe. See you in the next video.